All right, you you did the same thing you did on your first attack. You're farming energy first with your projected instead of your personal. And they have an they have a Reinhardt now instead of an Arissa. Like if I was the red team here, I would be yelling at my Reinhardt. Hey, their projected's down. Ryan, look for a charge. I'll barrier you. Charge their Reinhardt. Get in there. Did you even get any energy with this projected barrier? This is the this is like the most tilting is when people farm energy with projected barriers, but they do it in such a way where they don't even get any energy, right? Like the only person shooting at Reinhardt right now is Diva, and all the enemy Reinhardt has to do is wait for um is wait for the bubble to go away to fire strike. The Ron kept backing off when I bubble him. I mean, I, I don't know what your communication's like because we can't hear you. But that's why you don't bubble willy-nilly. You you react to damage and bubble and you will get so much more energy than if by just throwing out a bubble and hoping it catches damage. What? I real I kind of hope you're Reinhardt. Come on. Aw, oh, your Brigitte saved him with the stun. Oh, your Reinhardt died though. Yeah, he he did. You got five energy from the barrier, and your Ryan died. That's what I was saying about poke phases versus a poke phase versus Arissa versus a poke phase versus Ryan. Right? The enemy Reinhardt can instantly turn it from a poke phase into a fight by moving up versus the Arissa. She can, but she'll take a lot of damage in the process. So, I told I foretold the prophecy, and you got the prophecy played out. You bubbled early versus an enemy Ryan, who then took that opportunity to move in and blow up your Ryan. Not like it's not that the Reinhardt did it, but the red team blew up your Ryan. No. Yeah. Let me look at your personal. The personal was okay. You got some energy from it. That, this projected is really good. Look how much energy you get from this barrier. You got 40 energy from that barrier. And what were we doing with that barrier? Right? We were reacting to what the enemy was doing, and we got full value out of it. You don't have to farm energy before a fight. It's not a bad idea to farm energy before a fight. But if a fight is going to happen, just wait for the fight, and you will still get the energy. And energy and and it's not like getting energy is impossible to do in a fight. If you just have good barriers in a fight, help your team, you will still get the 40 energy. And this is a great example. You used a barrier before, got 5 energy, your teammate died. You use a barrier now, save a teammate, and boom, you get 40 energy. I want more Zarya's to realize that you don't have to farm energy with projected barrier before a fight. Just use personal. Personal, personal, personal. Oh my god, someone needs help. Boom, projected barrier. Boom, 40 energy. Boom, your 80 charge Zarya. Patience. Patience with the barriers. Yeah, I mean, it was a good barrier, but this Reinhardt just got to run all over you. I like how I, f I feel like you didn't learn your lesson from last time. However, the difference this time is your Reinhardt is here to cover your retreat. <clears throat> Again, the same exact mistake we just saw that contributed to losing point one just happened again. Both shields available. Really, no damage is being thrown out at our Reinhardt. And we're bubbling him again with the with the Zarya's best ability now on cooldown. The red team stomped you on point one. Now, what does that tell you as the blue team? A, they have a huge ultimate advantage, and B, they're going to be looking to use those ultimates to take point two, snowball point two. If I'm on, if I'm in your position right now, I'm like, okay, Tracer, uh, Hanzo did work. He might have Dragon. Their Reinhardt got three kills. He might have Earth Shatter. 
with that being the case, maybe I want to save my projected barrier to stop the enemy team from making a play. Maybe he earth shatters my whole team and he's pinning my Zenyatta that's 95% towards Transcendence. Boom! Barrier. Zen shoots Ryan, kicks him once, now he's got Transcendence and that turns the fight around. But instead of thinking of those things, you're farming energy with your projected barrier when the enemy team is right in your face. You got 50%, you you had 80 potential energy between two barriers and you got 40. You guys are right in chat. You guys are saying he's going to keep making the same mistakes as he can't hear me. And, and that's true. And I, apo I apologize. I just, I, I, I'm very passionate Zarya player and I want, I, I, I want to I want the correlation between what happened on how we lost point one. I want the learning to happen in this game. Like as Zari the Zarya player in this game, I want them to see what happened in point one, right? Like, man, I didn't get any energy with my barrier and we got rolled. I should probably avoid doing that so we don't get rolled in point two. But then it happens again, right? So I know he can't hear me, but you know, you have to when your team gets rolled on a point, ask yourself what did you do to contribute your team getting rolled you know what i mean but yeah you should know that the red team has alts coming online and be prepared for that now you are going to get your projected barrier back and that's not and that's more uh, the red team making a mistake than you you know kind of calculating with the poke phase right they were in your face they saw you barrier they saw this barrier, and they did not go in on this barrier being on cooldown. They could have ran in, Brigitte could have just stunned your Reinhardt for free, the Tracer could have just stuck your Rhine or whatever, and they could have just blown up Rhine and blown the fight wide open, get a free Earth Shatter on your team. This was the red team not punishing your mistake with this projected barrier. All right, okay. All right, the fight is going to happen. I know you can't hear me, but please don't farm energy with this projected barrier. You're only, you're going to decay 6 energy in 3 seconds, so you'll be at 20. If you just get one more good personal shield, you will be at 60 energy, which is great for Zarya. If you're at 60 energy and you just get one good projected, boom, 100. Please don't farm energy for... Uh, with your projected barrier. Don't do it. Right? You're you're paying attention. All right. You got scared she was going to stick the uh the Anna. So, I'll give you the this is a this is was a good mindset in terms of oh my god, I'm afraid Trace is going to kill my Anna. But the thing is you're still bubbling. This bubble is too early. If Tracer sticks Anna or it tries to one clip Anna. Not, I don't think a one clip is really common in Plat, to be honest. But you should have waited for Tracer to commit with the damage, right? If she throws out the pulse bomb and sticks Anna, then you react with the barrier. If she starts to, you know, do a bunch of damage to Anna, then you react with the barrier. But since you're doing it preemptively, and I also think Tracer's reloading right now. If you hear Tracer's like reload pattern, I don't think you'll get much energy for this. Right, she fired a whole magazine, and then you barriered. You're not going to get any energy. See, exactly, right? I heard the reload pattern. I knew you have to wait for her to throw the bomb or, or for her to reload and then shoot again. So you just bubbled a little too early. Can I hear me? Those are good grenades, though. You got lucky that this personal gave you energy because, honestly, they're, like based on where you're looking why did you personal right what is prompting you to personal shield here there's no enemies over there um the and tracer just i felt the tracer hitting me all right i'll give you that okay you felt the tracer hitting you it just doesn't look like it all right i'll give you that if you say you felt tracer hitting you i i believe you Right, this Tracer's farming Pulse Bomb, right? She's off on the side farming Pulse. So, you, you like, in my gut, I know she's about to use it. So, 
be ready with the projected barrier for whoever she throws the pulse on. That was better. This was a better projected barrier. Your Anna took like, your Anna took a blip of damage there, and then you barriered. See the difference between this and the last one? You got energy for it. Okay. Nice. That tracer was too aggressive when her recall was down, by the way. I'd say the strongest part of your gameplay is your ammo management. Mm, bubbled too early, right? Why did we bubble here? Uh, I guess Hanzo's looking at us, but, but we're fighting D.Va, right? And D.Va's defense matrixing. Uh, I don't know, I would have held on to this just for a couple more seconds. Yeah, Hanzo's looking at you, but you don't just bubble when anyone looks at you, right? Otherwise Zarya would never have any good bubbles. The storm arrow scare me, but you can see if he is in the storm arrow thing, right? He's not in the storm arrow animation. I know we have the luxury of watching it in slow mo, but he's not going to kill you with one storm arrow, right? If he if he is using storm arrow, he'll hit you with one, maybe two, and then you can react with the personal shield. I'll give you that one because your Brigitte was getting ha was going ham. Did you not bubble yourself in real life if Hanzo was looking at you? Not since Scatter Arrow was gone. Before when Scatter Arrow was happening, yeah, because it was an instant 475 damage. But Storm Arrow is still has is still damage over time, so you can react to it. You had he had 400 HP to work with. If you, if you can't react to Hanzo dealing 400 damage to you, you can't react fast enough with the personal shield, then you need to work on your reaction time. Ooh, good shatter block. I don't know if you meant to do this. It was really good though. That was a really good personal shield. Look at that. I knew it. I knew the Tracer was going to throw it on someone. That's not your fault though. You had already used Projected because your Brigitte went in. Now, I said in the review yesterday that as Zarya's, we'll have to learn how to play around Brigitte because Brigitte's aren't the type of character to really commit uh, to a fight in the front line, right? Like, don't get me wrong, she stuns, hits this guy, but then look at her instantly, like, disengage. This is this is basically what Reinhardt's do to Zarya's all the time. Like, Reinhardt has taught Brigitte how to debate Zarya into wasting projected barrier, right? So, I would say in the future, um, and this is a little bit of hindsight, which is kind of unfair, but just in terms of playing with and around your Brigitte, they, they again they have some H they have a decent amount of HP to work with. They're not they're not typically gonna die instantly. So you can react to them taking a bunch of damage. You don't have to bubble Brigitte just because she's it's not like a Rhine charge when Rhine is mega vulnerable when he charges. Um my thought was I can't see what's behind the wall, and that, and that's fine, and that's true, but but the same thing kind of with Reinhardt is Brigitte can take a bit of a beating, and then if she starts to take that beating, then you respond with the bubble. I mean, it wasn't a bad bubble. I'm not saying it was a bad bubble. It's just, in terms of, because I said a little bit ago, right, Tracer's farming Pulse and she's going to Pulse someone, like, that, that was still in my mind, and I'm, and I don't know where the Tracer is. And then you kind of hear her on the side, um, and she's looking to stick someone, and then she does when the projected is down. And that's Tracer making a good play, and it's, like I said, it's not that you had a bad bubble, it's that all Zarya's will have to figure out how to play around Brigitte's tendencies. Like, it took me a long time to stop bubbling Ryan whenever he, like, swung his hammer, because it's like, oh my god, you're gonna die. But really, Reinhardt can take a bit of a hit before he needs your barrier. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. Check out these two other videos on the left hand side and be sure to subscribe by clicking that button on the right. If you like all of this stuff, you can follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and of course YouTube. All the links will be in the description below. Again, thanks so much for watching guys and have a good one.